Hi uh, guys, uh, hello. Uh, for the vlog for today is that I want to teach you about how to connect the cell phone to uh, TV, uh, like the other one in the behind of the cell phone. Yes, that one is a TV. If you have a big TV like a 50 inches TV or 32 inches TV in, and you want to play uh, mobile games, so. I will teach you how to wire like this. Uh, it's a wiring, uh, mirroring style with a charger on it. So when you're playing and still uh, when you're playing the game on the phone and it's still charging, so you don't have to worry about uh, like low battery at all. And the sounds of it is a uh, you know Bluetooth. We have a DIY speaker like this a DIY speaker. So it's an ordinary speaker. So I bought an uh, receiver. This one receiver, yes. So I will teach you how to wire like this, and I will show you uh, the connection if it's lag or not. So we have a. Uh, Gain uh, Mobile Legends. So, okay. So, like this, uh, we try to play the game. If it's to to know that they, if it's the connection is lag or having a trouble so we will test the game so there is the 32 inches TV right there and we had a cell phone right here and a speaker like this one so it's a Bluetooth speaker you can use a Bluetooth speaker if you have a Bluetooth speaker but for me I don't have a Bluetooth speaker so I made an, my own speaker. It's a DIY speaker from an old PC. Then I bought an uh, amplifier like this and a receiver. So it, all items is very cheap. Uh, you can afford it for only... I bought this wiring for the TV. Uh, for only a 350 pesos and a Bluetooth receiver for only 50 pesos so here in Philippines it's like uh, 400 pesos only for dollar I think I think it's only a ten dollar for the setup like this if you had a cell phone and a TV and you want to have a cell phone uh, set up something like this so maybe you you'll spend only for a ten dollars i think you can buy it in our country uh we buy it for in a shopee or lazada yes then in maybe in your other country is you can buy it in alibaba or something in so we will try so We'll try. So here's the cell phone, and that's the monitor. So no delay, as you can see, no delay in the cell phone as I move. And no delay at all. And if you want to know the wiring, uh, stay tuned and watch. How do I connect the wire? So, okay, guys, uh, what are the wirings and items that we are needed for the setup for a mirroring connection via charging? Uh, here, uh, we need a charger of your phone. If you are using an iPhone, it's okay. Uh, you need the charger like this and the adapter. So. 
what else and a USB if you had a speaker that you're using is a Bluetooth speaker so you won't need it this so if you're using an ordinary speaker or an headset so you'll needing uh, you'll need like this uh, Bluetooth receiver like this one so what's good of it it's if you had an auxiliary uh, speaker so you can direct direct it direct the auxiliary in here so if you don't have just like my class D amplifier so you can direct it to the amplifier okay so if you don't have so you can use this so it's a Bluetooth receiver uh, you can search it for a Bluetooth receiver car Bluetooth receiver just like this I bought it uh, only 50 pesos I think uh, one dollar in our country I don't know if other in, in your country so we have uh, like this the name of it is we will search it so it's a universal phone phone TV cable HDMI this one it's only a 338 pesos so the length of is a uh, one meter and it's a universal phone t to TV a phone to TV cable so it look like this and we have it's an HDMI port for your like this one HDMI port for the TV and USB port for the charger this one uh, your adapter charger you will connect it for your charger like this and the other end is a uh, female USB it's a 2.0 so you can use your wire your wire charger here so even you're using an iPhone it's okay like this or using an Android or any kind of wire as long that your wire is a data charger a charger with the data on it so you can mirror on your TV okay so that's all that's how it, it's wired so this one the HDMI port is connected to your TV back on your TV so I will connect it okay I guess I already connect the HDMI in back on the TV so we will on the TV source so you will select an HDMI one or two so I will not show you how to plug the HDMI back on your TV so because it, it's very easy okay so after powering on the TV so the charger like this the adapter uh, you will plug it in your here in your power supply like this one here okay so if it's connected to power supply the adapter uh, the screen of your TV will look like this so scan the QR code 
so you'll scan the QR code if you had a scanner if you're using an iPhone it will directly scan but if you're using an Android so you'll go to Play Store and search for an any QR scanner code like this one like this one so any app can be good so wait it scan directly so it will look like this so you put your phone there and there's a link in it this one so you'll click the link and it will go to a website like this one so there's a procedure and how to connect how can to connect in an iOS or an Android so for an iOS you'll just click trust and for the an Android, Android phone, you'll click uh, developer options, USB debugging. If you don't know how to open the developer option or USB debugging, so there's a lot of YouTube on it and how to open it. So go to your place, sir, and search for the like this one with easycast I forgot the name easycast so this one you'll click it and search for an easycast okay so after the debugging of your phone USB debugging so you'll search for the Play Store and open it uh, install it okay then so it will look like this okay the name of the mirroring is easycast okay uh, first is you will go to your settings and look for the debugging okay Here, I already opened the uh, debugging mood, USB debugging. So here, you can off and on the debugging mode, okay? So here, on the debugging mode. Then connect your charger, like this one, on your phone, okay? Connect it and click the transfer files okay so there's another option that you want to open here in the USB that tethering USB tethering so you will op open the USB tethering and the debugging okay USB tethering like this one okay after that go to easycast in your phone and click this like snake one here upper upper right okay click that so you'll click start now so there's the mirroring and the phone and the TV this one okay that easy so the benefit of it if it's wired uh, your connection uh, your phone is always charged it's always charging so you will not go on low battery and the other benefit of it is no delay like this one I'm opening it so for the USB 
Uh, no, no. For the Bluetooth speaker, uh, you'll own this Bluetooth, like this one. If you had a Bluetooth speaker, you'll own your Bluetooth speaker. Then it's like connecting a Bluetooth speaker, you know. And search for the Bluetooth, like here, I already have. So it's connected. Then after connecting it, you will plug it in your Bluetooth uh, speaker. Okay, like this one. And we'll try a game. Open a game, okay? Like a Mobile Legends. Like that. The quality of the phone and the quality of the monitor is the same. It's like a 1080p output of the monitor. And there's no lag at all. No lag, no hang. No other problem, no problem in your connections. And the speaker is functioning for uh, I think only a ten dollar or five hundred pesos. No, four hundred pesos. I think for eight dollars. You can you had a uh, mirroring that's stable and very responsive playing connections to your TV and a Bluetooth speaker and that's all and we'll try this so watch how uh, watch the video uh, we'll try this to connection okay so let's try if it's okay like the first I show you before the first video so we have Franco if you play Mobile Legends as you can see I'm not really good at it because my enemy is still Franco so uh, as you can see the, there's a monitor right behind of my cell phone and uh, it's playing the same at a right time so no delay at all guys as you can see no delay from here I, I can turn around like that and the monitor behind still is the same output on the cell phone so what's good of it uh, as you can see you don't have to charge again because it's already been charging and it's mirroring in your monitor in your big screen TV and your speaker is in via Bluetooth so this guys is for only if you don't want to play in uh, for uh, like uh, like this on a big screen for streaming there's another setup setup or wiring for it if you want to record or stream you need a computer or a laptop so if you want to know about it so we will make another blog of it and let's see and if it's still the same right uh, like and the lag and the connections but if uh, if you just want to chill and play a big screen on your TV so you can make uh, you can follow like this so there's a lot of games in mobile guys so you can play Call of Duty, PUBG or Jensen Impact or 
a lot of games you know and so if you want uh, uh, I think if you're uh, you, yeah if you want to comment and suggestions so please comment and like and subscribe so sorry for my English I'm just trying to I'm trying to hard <laughs> so you can understand so guys uh, thank you and please like and subscribe thank you so much okay chill